Where am I today? Ooh. Death everywhere. Hmm. Leads me to my next subject. People are afraid of, you know, afraid of graveyards. I don't know why. I love them. It's my favorite graveyard. It's fucking crazy shit, man. You know why? Because people think there's ghosts. They say, ah, oh, there's ghosts in the graveyard. There's no fucking ghosts in the graveyard. I just, I was just talking to some guy, right? I just talked to a guy. He's been, he's been working here. He says, I asked him that. I said, yo, you work here, right? I said, you ever see a ghost? He goes, no, nah, man. I never see no ghost. I said, see, it's a, it's a myth, right? It's, it's, not, it's not real, right? There's no ghost. I said, how long have you been working here? He goes, oh, about 300 years. <laughs> this fucking crazy shit, right? So here we are, Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn, New York. Mark's County reporting. In the graveyard. It's beautiful in here, it's quiet. It's a blue sky. It's quiet in here. It's crowded too. People are dying to get in. <laughs> uh, that's my last death joke. Joke is, death is a serious subject, Conti. So, I guess I'll pause right here. So, f Washington, reporting from Washington. Washington, for the first time, is a good place to talk about death. For the first time since 2005, the U.S. Army missed its recruiting goal this year falling short by 6,500 soldiers, despite pouring an extra $200 million in taxpayer money into bonuses and approving some additional waivers for bad conduct or health issues. <laughs> so they, they spent an extra $200 million and lowered their standards, letting in, you know, schmucks. <laughs> and they still missed their mark. What's going on? I thought people liked the Army. I thought people like you know, kids... Kids are dying to get into the military. I love that shit, right? Shooting guns and shit. Right? So, um, so what's going on? So army leaders said they signed up. I'll take a little walk for a second. <laughs> Enjoy the graveyard. It's kind of beautiful here. A lot of old graves. A lot of old dead people. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Look at this dog. Where is he? Woof. That's Rover. Buried with that dog. I hope they didn't take the dog with them. <laughs> hope the dog died of natural causes. But anyway, so army leaders said they signed up an extra. Uh, they signed up about seven hundred thousand newly active duty recruits, well below the seventy six thousand. So what does that mean? It means that they missed their mark by sixty five hundred soldiers, right? Sixty five hundred kids, less kids, signed up for the military. Right? The Army National Guard and Army Reserves fell short as well. The Air Force and Marine Corps, uh, Air Force, Navy, and Marines met their, met their mark for 2018. Army shortfall, shortfall said Major General Joe Calloway, Calloway was fueled by a strong American economy and increased competition from private sector employees who can pay more. I don't believe that, but I'll just keep reading. But the failure has triggered an overhaul in the Army recruiting, including an increase in recruiters, expanded marketing, and a new effort to reach out to young potential recruits through online gaming. Pow. They're up in their game. When in doubt, up your game, right? Go in the online community. Get those kids, man. You got to get those fucking kids. 
Kids are slackers, man. Kids are slackers. Wow, going up to the graveyard. Let's see down here. Goddamn kids. How dare you? How dare you not sign up because of a good economy? I don't necessarily believe that, but that's the that's what AP is reporting a statistic. I think it has maybe a change of heart. I wanna be I wanna give a little wishful thinking. I think that it has it has to do with a you know, a change of heart. Top, U, top Army leaders have repu- repeatedly said they are not lowering standards to meet their recruiting goals. Yes, they are. But they have faced skepticism from Congress, blah, blah, blah. The Army is planning to grow to 500,000 by 2024, triggering increased recruiting goals. Military recruiters have struggled to compete in a, in a growing U.S. economy. So these guys are saying 100% that it has to do with the economy. Right? Callaway, Frank Muth, head of uh, Army Recruiting, said few potential recruiters or their families answer the phone anymore. <laughs> That's why they're going after recruiting. That's why they're going after the online people. All right, so Muth kick in so here's the shit right here's the deal right? I'll tell you what the, what's going on right that's the bullshit story about economy right the economy right it's fucking look oligarchy monopoly big business right cannot function cannot thrive without young people signing up to die in the military signing up for war the war machine because abroad, that's what keeps it going. Most of what the U.S. economy, what, most of what the U.S. military does abroad in times of peace is illegal. They destabilize countries. They, you know, do all kinds of shit to, you know, to keep, to keep big business in play, right? To keep big business relevant. That's what it's all about, right? It's cover. The military offers cover through a wide, wide range of different types of uh, <laughs> corporations, right? Cover. That's the key word right there. And they use young kids to do it, right? 200,000 a year is the total. That's the number they go for. There seems to be a slight crack in that, in that wall. Right, based on that last statistic, that that the number is down a little bit. They're blaming a robust economy, but it's not a robust economy. There may be more, you know, minimum wage jobs. More, there may be a little opportunity. We'll give it to him. We'll give it to him. Trump, it's more opportunity. I told you so. I told you. It's making America great again. Right. So. But the real shit, the real shit, right? The idea is to is to bring oligarchy, bring monopoly back down to size. Corporations raping the country, right? The military-industrial complex that keeps the whole thing in place. Arms sales, military, military might, right? Military might, that means that, 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 that we, that we project peace through strength. That's right out of Orwell. That's what Trump says. Peace through strength. Right? War is peace. That's what, that's what Orwell was saying in Animal Farm. Well, in, in 1984. Right? War is peace. Peace through strength. Right? But here's the big deal. Here, right? Here's the big thing. Here's the big takeaway. Right? Youth, right? The kids. Kids, right? Can stop this thing from happening. Right? Don't sign up. Right? If you're in there, quit. Right? We see a tick down in numbers. See, if if you can't if you can't take away their seven hundred billion dollars that they got, 
if there's nobody to go there, if there's nobody to put the uniforms on, no boots on the ground, game over, right? We win, right? Destabilize the military industrial complex and it causes corporations to not be able to expand illegally into foreign territories that doesn't that don't benefit the US at all right because they're making money they're profiting profiting abor- abroad and then they're just taking the money and running anyway they're not reciprocating with it right they don't reciprocate so what what's the point in giving them all these all these advantages all these breaks right got to squeeze them right kids die for I mean death look final frontier nobody's exempt we're all gonna die right but some but why does a kid 18 years old gotta die first right for, look and for the record I know people say oh Conti you're fucking you're not you're strong military strong military right but you know what I'll tell you this if a foreign entity came storming the, the, you know, storming the beaches of Coney Island in Brooklyn, right? Right? Storming the beaches in Coney Island. I'm looking for ghosts behind me. Saw that? I was like, what the hell is that? I thought I saw a ghost. It's that guy from before, man. Fucking guy. But if, 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 if a foreign entity came storming, storming the beaches of Coney Island, I would be the first one to pick up arms and fight back. But damn, damn straight if I'm going to go go fight on some fucking senseless war. I mean, I'm too old, but, but to fight in some senseless war that makes no sense whatsoever to anybody. Right? Counterinsurgency wars, they got to end. How do you do it? There's a, crack in the, there's a crack in the armor. Look, I just told you there's a crack in the armor. I'm going to go up this way. I'm going to go up this way. Where am I going now? Where am I going now? I'm standing on top of someone's dead house. Death. Death. The final frontier. Oh shit, a hole. Oh man, this is shit is crazy, man. Look at this view. Swing it around, man. Swing it around, swing it around. Look at that shit. Pow, there's a graveyard on the hill. See the Manhattan skyline. See the Manhattan skyline? Where the owls and the hawks go. Pow, yo. Pow, yo, yo. So that's what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about... I'm talking about squeezing the oligarchy as usual. (laughs) There's so many ways to do it, right? There's so many ways to do it. But definitely... The decrease in military might. Right? That's a biggie. Right? Decrease in, in military might. Right? That statistic is very promising, that kids, are, that there's a turning point, that there is a poverty draft. We just saw it. In the, in the general's own words, there's a poverty draft, right? They're admitting it. They're finally admitting it, that there is a poverty draft. They prey on kids. Now they're going into the, their own house. They're going into the house of the kids. Go online where they're fucking games. Boom, 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 boom. Right? They love that shit, right? And you got the recruiters over there. Oh, you want some real gun? Oh, you want some real gun? You want some... It's like... It's like... It's like predatory fucking killing. Right? Predatory killing. So anyway, that was a promising number. I saw that. I was like, wow, that's... That's interesting. We got a lot of work to do, though. We're still not done yet. We're not done. Got to keep telling kids, man. Defect. If you're in the military, get out. If you're thinking about joining, don't join. If we could drive those numbers all the way down, you squeeze them by the balls, man. They got to. They got to stop. They got to stop with this counterinsurgency wars. All this excess money spent on wars against an enemy we don't have. Right. My name is Marcus Conti, reporting from Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn, New York. Peace.